Hey, everybody, Ann here, finishing up my coffee. It's been a weird morning. I woke up, I actually woke up a little bit later than I normally do because I just, I, I needed to sleep. I just did. Um, so I went out and did the chicken and rabbit thing and let Papa out for his romp. And before I could even get my coffee, like, started, um, there were, like, four little boys down at the end of my drive. And it was the neighbor uh, kids and a couple of their cousins and they're like, hey, Miss Ann, Miss Ann, we found a mushroom. Oh, I was so thrilled. I, I put on a sweater, went out, and they took me out into their woods and showed me the mushrooms they had found. The one that they were most interested in, and they thought I'd be most interested in, is this one right here. And I don't know exactly what it is. I do know it's a polypore. Um, but just finding this one and then that just led us to looking for more and I got to tell them, um, about wild lettuce and, um, they found several more mushrooms. One of them found, um, a bone, which was, uh, like I showed you guys before, um, I'm not going to go get it, but it was a big, large bone, the lowest part of the spinal column of a, a big animal. Well, they found one that was a little bit, well, it was about this big. And so I got to, you know, talk to them about that. So it was really cool. It was really cool. Um, anyhow, so I'm going to find out what this is, and I'll tell you a little bit later, and maybe the kids will be able to learn something too. Um, I've had a, a rough few days. Uh, whenever it rains, my, my joints really hurt. I mean, it, they hurt for a couple days before, and then it rains, and then just depending how quickly the barometric pressure goes down, um, I may hurt for another day. And it's just been really weird. It's been more, like, uncomfortable than usual. And this shoulder here, oh, my gosh. I, I, I hate to complain, but it has been hurting me crazy, my left shoulder, um, because I've been lifting lots of buckets of water and hauling stuff around. So I've made a promise to myself. I promised myself a couple days ago I wasn't going to do a whole bunch of lifting and moving around. I was just going to take it easy. Um, but I'm really going to do that today. Um, but I still got to get some stuff done. So, um, hmm. Let me just finish my coffee and then we'll see what's up for today. Here's the front and back shot of the mushroom that they found for me. And I have yet to find out what it is. I have absolutely no idea what it is. I can't find it in any book. I can't find it online. So, um, I'm just going to chalk this one up to an inedible polypore that was growing on wood so I don't know maybe someday in the future I'll be able to figure out what it is but until then it's a mystery but here are some other mushrooms that we did find and identify we found some devil's urn mushrooms this is my photo and we found some not sure what this is this is also my photo but we definitely found some turkey tail also my photo and then we found some crowded parchment this is out of my audubon society book and some lichen agarics these are little tiny mushrooms this is not my photo found it on the internet but we found a whole mess of these okay kickstand i'm gonna try and fix this ramp up a little bit for you andrea made an excellent suggestion in the comment section since his leg goes out to the side he really needs a whiter surface I've just put that one board up there um, I've got two boards that are the same size yep see that he needs a whiter surface a wider ramp to go up so that's the one that was initially there I've got another board that is the same size and width so I need to join them together and then put more you know little little steps on it I joined these two boards together just using some little wood slats and it's working pretty good so now all I gotta do is add some stuff <laughs> there it is one of the other barred rocks that isn't disabled has tried it out uh, let's see off to the upper right there is kickstand only time will tell if he's able to get up there and uh, I don't know just make his way up I put a bunch of more slats on and I used flatter ones because he has trouble lifting that leg sometimes, so I wanted to give him something to latch onto, but something that wasn't going to be too high. Beauty. Darn it. 
He was just starting to get up there, too. That girl right there, Miss Roxy, she has been a holy terror lately. She has been acting very strangely, kind of almost like Miss Pris Fancy Pants did when she started to go broody. She would just cluck a whole lot, and she would just make this sound and, and flap her wings. It was really weird. And then she started sitting on eggs. So I'm going to let the eggs build up in the main nest for a couple of days and see what happens. But boy, she's just been pecking away at these other chickens. One time it was so funny, she was out there, like right by this truck, uh, flapping her wings and squawking and making a ruckus. And you see this guy run over from over there, just like his wings up and his head down, like he was going to have to totally beat somebody up. And all it was was <laughs> Miss Roxy. Oh, let's see what she does. Look at that. She's going she's gonna to peck. Splash over there, I bet you. <laughs> That's my neighbors. Jack coming. I don't know, maybe not. So, I think she's been getting after Mama the Leghorn because she had a little blood on the back of her head. I don't know. You need to teach these girls to be nice. Romeo. <laughs> Anyhow. Oh, these chickens are doing great. They're all laying. They're all being sweet, except for Roxy. What's going on, Papa? It's not quite time for you to go out for your romp yet. In a little bit. You good boy. Guess what? I made the appointment to get you fixed. Yes, indeed. August 1st. <laughs> August 1st. Yep. I made the appointment for Papa to get fixed. I was hoping I'd be able to get him a sooner appointment, but they're booked out to August 1st. So that's going to happen August 1st, and I'm very glad because now he won't be out roaming, knocking up the <laughs> the neighbor's dogs, if you know what I mean. And I think it'll, it'll help with him wanting to stick around here a little bit more, even when the other dogs are in heat. So that's good. Um... They're going to send him home with one of those comb thingies. I don't know if he's going to like go for that being on him, but we'll see. It's been a good day today. I've taken it easy as much as I can. There's certain things I have to do regardless of how much my joints are barking at me. So I got the, the minimum done today. And so yeah, that's good. I do need to tell you guys some very good news. I got two PayPal donations. Um, one of them, um, well, I'll leave her name at the end, you know, in the little outro thingy. The other um, is going to remain anonymous. And as a result of that, I was able to get both of my propane tanks filled. I was able to get chicken feed and a few other essential things that I needed. So thank you very, very much. Um, I've been worried about a lot of stuff lately, and things are tough for everybody all over the place, no matter how you look at it. And the price of everything has gone up. So the fact that people were able to extend themselves to me, it just means an awful lot. So thank you so much. Anyhow, I gotta relax for the rest of the day, rest of the night at any rate. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one